Hey, hey, hey. Hit the millet. Oh, 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 what's going down? Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know who it is. Yeah. It's your boy J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, here with my unk, man, Ronald Bowler, for another very special edition of Nooner Sports and Tech. My bad, had to... Had to turn my phone off. Noon in sports and tech, man. Got a very cold show coming at you today. Got a lot to talk about. We, yeah, man. we back in this building, huh? What's yeah, good? Man, it's, I, I know these last couple of uh, <laughs> last couple of noonish last week and then uh, over the weekend, you know, on the weekend we always be at our separate home. Yeah. But, uh, last Wednesday not being in the studio. Man. Uh, that's a little funny feeling. I mean, you know. Yeah. And then it kind of hurt the product or whatever. Oh, yeah. In my little mind, but hopefully not in your mind. Hey, man, we're going to put something out. we got to oh, put yeah. something out, you know. Yeah, and, stay relevant, man. Gotta, yeah, and when we go on that road, you know, we can't really control all the elements, but we do try to control as much as we can. No. But, uh, and what we could control was bringing a show last week, oh. which we did. Oh, yeah. And I hope y'all got something up out, of that, up out of that thing, man. But, uh... It's time for some uh, great sports topics, huh? What's going oh. down, man? Hold on. Before we get into it, everything been good? You know, anything oh, yeah. exciting happened over the past couple of weeks since we was last in the building? Oh, uh, anything exciting happened? Well, you know, not really. You know, I, I try to live a low-key life for me, but yeah. it's exciting to other people. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> every day I wake up, <laughs> you know, I, I, I try to make something happen. Like yeah. I like that. Yeah. Every day I just wake up, I try to say, make something happen before I go to sleep. Yeah, say so, hey, we don't we don't need too much excitement around yeah, this junk. Not too much. Yeah, we we good to go as is, you know. Nah, man, it's it's so much going on in this world right now, man. With you know between the things we don't talk about, which is politics, but um, you know we do have a vote coming up, and I don't ever talk about politics, and I ain't getting into it today. But I do got a homie running in Midlothian for the uh, school board uh, place three. Uh, Ryan Tim, if you're in the Midlothian area, man, go out there, go vote for Ryan Tim. That's my dog. One of my first baseball teammates when I was eight years old. Just happy to see my boys doing things. You know how we get down, though. Oh, we yeah. support our homies. We ain't no haters over oh, here. No, no, no. You know, we That's winners, we baby. All about is support, man. Yeah. I'm trying to drive somebody to the top. Yeah. You know, just because, you know, I might not be at the top, but I, I can help push somebody else. Absolutely. And then it all depends on what you consider the top. Yeah. You know, but, uh, you know, that's a whole other story because in my life, I'm I'm on top. I'm number one. Man. Hey, hey all day, every day. If, if you don't believe me, all you got to do is ask me. I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or you can ask somebody that know me, you know, and yeah. they, they'll probably vouch for me, you know. Yeah, they like, they, they'll vouch for me. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, yeah. Let's go on and jump in these topics, man. Okay. Let's, let's go on and jump in these topics, man. We got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. Starting with. Watch this. Call this a transition, y'all. Bow. What's beef? That was a song written by Biggie back in the day. What's beef? We got a good old rap beef going on, huh? What you know about that? You well, know. You know. Uh, I enjoy these, it. these rap beefs. Uh, who is it? Drake and yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, Lamar and, and J Cole. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, yes, so, sir. So what's the what's the problem? Well, it's it's not really a problem, you know. Um, what I think it is, I think they're just trying to bring back healthy rap beef. Show these youngsters how rap beef is really supposed to go, right? Beef is settled. Rap beef is settled in the well, lyrics. Yeah, by, on by, the by, records, by the rap off. not in the streets. Oh, like uh, and, kind of like a uh, Cool Mo D and LL Cool J. Yeah, D. that was before Biggie and Pop took it to another level. Yeah, to take each other life. They yeah. Were, they were just trying to outwrap each other. That's it. And I don't even think Biggie and Pac was trying to take each other's lives. I think the I think I think they were so dynamic, their fans took a halt to their music and took it more seriously than what they did. Nah, they now, some of that music pretty serious. Well, hit, them up, hit them up was real serious, but that's yeah. after Pac got shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know, and he thought that he thought Biggie was behind it. I believe Biggie was not. I can't say the same for you know other people in that camp. Bad boy camp, you know. Uh, not gonna mention any names, but, but but this is the whole thing. Uh, it's like this: if your homeboy do something to me, and you still hang around him, and you know he did it. Ah, you kind of like uh, if you ain't, I said like this, kind of like you complicit too. Yeah, no doubt. You know, no kinda, doubt. They, it, it may not be true, but in the average human eye, they're like, okay, 
they hanging together before, after, and doing. Yeah. So maybe you you connected to it. Yeah, it would, it would absolutely. If I was the one that got shot, I would no doubt feel that. Now, uh, you you might that, add a little something with it too. Yeah, no doubt. You got to be a fool to not think that now, way. I'm you know what I'm saying? Boys are, and I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> Cause I haven't ever known Drake to uh, say anything uh, foolish or even try to act like he tough. Yeah. So maybe it's just so they gonna wrap it out. Man. Because uh, some of these guys, and I don't, I haven't ever heard, uh, you know, none of these guys haven't ever fell under the category of gangster rap. No. I'm gonna say it like that. So no. hopefully they'll they'll keep it. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the thing. It's not really Drake isn't really even. I don't even know why Drake's in this thing. Uh, the the beef the recently, most recently, has been between Kendrick Lamar. And J. Cole. And it's just, it ain't no real beef. It's just lyrics, you know? No, They're just going at each other's throats. And then, uh, I guess there were some things that took place a while back, you know, a few years ago, uh, with some lyrics. And then, recently, it got brought back up, right? And then, uh, I guess, uh, as recent as, what, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, J. Cole released, no, this was like the 6th. He released his latest diss track. Which was Saturday, the 6th, was Saturday. Yeah, on, on, yeah. On, on, on Kendrick. And then he comes back on the 7th and apologizes for what he said in his diss track. Now, in the history of rap, and this was at his concert at Dreamville, in the history of rap, no rapper has ever gone back and apologized for the things that he said. But then this whole thing. <laughs> it's you, like, uh, what? I get it. I understand what you're saying. To make money. And it's not serious. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, no doubt. Well, the whole thing is this. You know, I, I don't because I, J Cole went in. You know, on that on that latest on that latest record. But he was like, "Look, man, I haven't slept well the past couple nights since I released that." You know, uh, he said he appreciated what sleeping peacefully felt like. You know what I'm saying? And that, he said he's passed all this all this rap beef. You know, so he humbly got on stage and apologized to Kendrick Lamar. And he said, if you want to take shots at me, I'm going to stick my chin out right here and take him on the chin, bro. But I'm done with this, you know, because he's in a different place in his life. And I can respect that. Okay. But you know, but, if, if, but yeah, if it's, well, he did. He pulled it out. He pulled it. He oh, pulled it from all the streaming platforms. Yeah, he was dead serious about it, you oh, know, and I, I, I respect no that. And maybe that was the whole purpose, you know. Yeah. Maybe he wanted to show show the kids how to rise above, you know, and, yeah, and yeah. how to not oh, yeah. let words uh, affect your life and ultimately take your life at the end of the day because that's what's going on and it's it's foolish man it's oh, foolish yeah, it's man foolish. it's foolish because this is the whole thing if you go uh, if you don't succeed and uh advance in life you got to rise above a lot of stuff man yeah unless you ain't gonna make it yep just as simple as that yeah that's a fact you know and that's a fact that's a fact well it's it's a big topic so you know we have to throw uh, our little, but have, i have to throw my little two cents in. yeah <laughs> you know but two, that's all i got in it and they I, did i don't even have a dime i just got two cents hey go back and listen though they did go in it was pretty awesome here too yeah but uh we're gonna keep this train rolling you know how we get down with the get downs we're gonna move to the nba i'm gonna move the graphic first you know it's just you know, when you're one man uh, producing doing, and, and doing the show, it ain't, things don't always go as smooth. But, you know, I hope y'all appreciate the effort that we're giving over here, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got some uh, nice little graphics and things coming at you every week. But moving on. Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, man. So, Dallas Mavericks, man, they're going off. They have clinched the fifth seed in our game and a half behind the L.A. Clippers in fourth. They won't catch them. They only got five, four, five games left. There ain't no point to catch them. You know, they, they, shoot, they. Because that's who they got to play, right? Yeah. The Uh, the Clippers in fourth. uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So it may as well. I mean, I feel good about that matchup. Yeah, you know, but it's one thing that, um, oh, oh, yeah, I I think, well, you you think they can beat the Clippers in seven games? Absolutely. Uh, We're talking about James Harden. Only one, only Clipper. That gives me any type of worry. It's Kawhi Leonard. Or, uh, yeah, Kawhi Leonard, man. He don't give me any type of worry. Well, he's a dog. When he's on the floor and he's playing, he's when? a dog. When, is he, when have he done that? Well, when, when have he done that? When he won the championship in Toronto. Okay, one time out. How many years been in there? <laughs> <laughs> he I mean, got him know, one, you know, though. You know, yeah. I am about that available. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard is... Like a lot of these guys, he's more hey, than he is substance. That dude is always on the sideline. He's on the sideline more than Anthony Davis. You know, but he got a, he got a, he got a ring though. He he led a team to a ring. 
I can't really I can't really name too many other people. Serge Ibaka from that Toronto squad, you know, huh? like it wasn't that Toronto squad wasn't loaded up like that. Then they had Van Vliet. They had yep. Kyle Lowry. They had Serge Ibaka. And they, they all, had, all those guys are average players to me. They're not just studs. Van Vliet's good. I mean, they're okay. good, but they're not just. Okay, so how many times had they had to have their car? Uh, uh, Toronto uh, Raptors been to the Eastern Conference Finals before he got there. They had some pretty good teams in the past. The only reason that With Toronto the, didn't get to the NBA Finals was LeBron James. Yeah, no Knocked him out four or five times. He beat Toronto. And so to go to a team that's already an Eastern Conference Final team and then you win a championship with him, don't try to play like it's all Kawhi now. No, I'm not saying it was all Kawhi now. I ain't no, saying it was no, all no. him, but he, he was. No, Kyle, he was a Kyle dog. Lowry's he was a dog, man. You think so? Kyle, Kyle Lowry's a tough little dude. Yeah, now, he ain't just... no, he's, a, he's a tough little dude. Very, very bleak. At that particular time, was second or third in, in three point percent. Yeah, and they, he so was, and he was really no a, uh, unknown. The people had, were learning about him. They had a, they had one of the Lopez brothers. Yep, they had a huge. They had team. A, they had a, was Gasol on that Mark Gasol on that squad. Yeah, but yeah, they, yeah, yeah, the they, little Gasol, you know, Gasol. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, it wasn't uh, Powell. It was Mark, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't uh, one of the Lopez brothers. It, it was, was the Gasol, Gasol. Yeah, they had Serge Ibaka. They had another big man. They had a nice squad, man. Yeah, before Kawhi got there. And he did. He was the finishing piece. Siakam. They, Siakam was the other yeah, big Siakam. man. Yeah, Siakam. Yeah, Siakam. And he's a, still a baller now. Yeah, Siakam had an all time. Yeah, that was the best year you had in his career. Yeah, they they had a good collection of guys, but they didn't. You know, uh, Kawhi was that dude on that squad. Is all I'm saying. That whole series, like he was that guy. He was the man. Like he well, was the reason well, they won that, that thing. That, well, he, I, I, he was the reason. He was, he was the one that got him over the hump. Yeah, all he got I'm him saying. over, but they was already at the top of the hump. They just yeah. couldn't get over. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, a lot so of truth with that. It's not like he came to a last place team. So let's not get Kawhi because Pascal Siakam. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, he had a career year. Kawhi Leonard, Van Vliet had a career year. Yep. year. Serge Ibaka, all those guys. But my good. point, my point with Kawhi is he's a winner. Right when he's on the floor, he's proven to win. He know how to get it done. I mean, it's easy. To I win. can't say that about James Harden. I it's can't say that about Paul George. Now that's a yeah, no doubt, no nah, doubt. You know, but he, he didn't did. even win a championship with them. Yes, he did. For why won a championship? No, nah, the the year they were they were uh, Golden State. Remember, he sprained his ankle that year, and they didn't get past Golden State because he sprained his ankle on uh. Who I run a guy? I mean, he might not have played, but he got a ring. Then, no, he played against uh, LeBron James. He got the MVP. In the finals for for uh, holding uh, LeBron James to a thirty point triple double average. Uh, when was that? Kawhi Leonard when he was with San Antonio. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. Yeah, I did not no, know that. That's crazy. No, you forgot. Yeah, I forgot Kawhi, about that. Kawhi got but the yeah. MVP. But that's yeah. when he got the nickname, the, you know, with the got the hand or whatever they call him. But go look at. It. <laughs> they talk about how good a job he did on LeBron James. Go go look. LeBron James had thirty three points, <laughs> twelve rebounds, eleven assists. <laughs> The great job, Kawhi. Yeah. Great job. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same thing that uh, Andre Iguodala did. He got MVP in oh, yeah, LeBron. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 like thirty five. Thirty five. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, you know, so Kawhi. Like, what? I mean, Kawhi is good. <laughs> hey, he's never there. Yeah. He's undependable. Yeah. Because he hurt all. He time. has been that. He has not been reliable at all. But and we're gonna talk about reliability here in a few minutes. Man, so. but when he is there, he can ball. Is all oh, I'm yeah, saying. But he's never there. Yeah. Yeah. He's but look, I w- back to the Mavericks, Luca. And Kyrie, I think they can get the. Uh, I, I think they can get uh, the Clippers because Clippers are overrated, man. Yeah, they first, are. first off, uh, <laughs> James Harden always frees up. In oh, the, in the, in the he's a non-factor. Time. He's a non-factor. <laughs> so does Paul George. Yeah, Paul George haven't done a lot, yeah. but just a lot of potential. Yep. And then and, and Kawhi got that MVP yeah. holding LeBron to a 33 point triple double. Yeah, no. Nah. Did you got that? I mean, so all those guys, I mean, no, I think the Mavericks can actually get them too because this is one thing. I don't think they all, they all going to be healthy. I think the, the Mavericks got a chance to win the West and be in the finals. I'm going to just tell you like it is because they, don't say they're you only, know, come playoff time, it's all about your the, hottest teams. Yeah, yeah. The only thing. And they are the hottest team in the NBA right now. No doubt. The only doubt. thing that will hold the Mavericks back a lot is the, is the Mavericks. What, like complaining and all that mess or what? Like what, Not what? sharing the ball enough. If yeah. they don't share, if they share the ball, the Mavericks can win it. But yeah. if they hold the ball too much and they capable of holding the ball. Yeah, they too are. Much. They are. But if they share the ball, the, the Mavericks got a good chance. Yeah, of, and that's that's winning. really the main thing that's spurred this streak. If you win the West, streak. you got a chance of winning it all. Yeah, and this that's the main that's the main thing they've been doing 
It's sharing the, it's ball, sharing the rock. Yeah. Here recently, like beautiful alley oops, like it, it's it's been a lot of fun watching them playing oh, these last oh, 15, 20 games. Yeah. Like they have been because. molding. They got this Gafford kid that's really good, right? PJ Washington that's really good. We Washington got perimeter Junior? defenders. Oh man, man that guy over there. He kind of reminds me of Halliburton a little bit. Yeah, you think so? Because he can shoot I that mean, thing, I'm saying, man. They both were about to what six seven six yeah. eight. Yeah, you know, can shoot the three, play, yeah. play extremely good defense. Yep. I'm, you know, I'm just saying, kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. You got that kind of style yeah. of play. Kind of got the same kind of long, lengthy frame. Yep, yep. You know, I think he might be a little bigger than Halliburton too. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, because I mean, they, I don't, they got some, they look yeah, they really good, good together. Player, but uh, they got to get them involved. Yeah, and they have they been. Gotta, yeah, and they, they have been. been. They have been. And that's why they've been with it. Exactly. Because it's not that Luca holding the ball for 18. To 20 seconds of the 24 yeah. second clock. Because, I mean, that's what's going to hurt them. In this last, what, 15, 20 games of the season, they we've climbed up, what, three, four spots? Yeah, y'all was. Because we were struggling for a minute down there with LA and the, and the uh, Warriors. I like, eight, we nine were, spot. I think we went all the way to seven. Yeah. Because the Lakers been a staple at eight and nine. Yeah. <laughs> the Warriors yeah. all year. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing, too, man. You got 32 teams. 20 of them make the playoffs. Come on, man. Yeah, it's a lot. That's you know, a lot. So now, that, now that play in. I like to play in, though. It but, just, cause but it make, yeah, it move makes it up. The, move it up. The, only, the reason I like to play in is because it makes those lower teams finish the season. They can't just, ah, uh, we ain't going to get in the playoffs. We can, you know, like, you can't do that anymore because you actually have a chance to play yourself into the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I'm a 9 10 seed, well, I think because uh, Golden, Golden State's right around there right now. But if I'm any other 9 to 10 seed, like, I know I really don't have a shot. I really don't even want to get in the playoff because I want a good draft pick. I want to get in that lottery. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you know so what I'm you, saying? So you, so you so can actually tank yeah. and don't be left. Yeah, because I, 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 I do not want to be right here. You know, I do not want to be right here uh, where I could possibly be with this crew that I can't get no better with and end up messing up my, my draft status. Like, Nah, that ain't that ain't where you want to be. That ain't where you want to be. But uh, moving on. Next up, let me see. Yeah. So did you see last night that uh, Ant Man? No, I didn't see. Oh, he hit fifty one. Hit fifty one. You see yeah. fifty. So what you see right there? Fifty, fifty, fifty holding up one. So that equal fifty one. Yeah. Fifty was in the building. Yeah, fifty cents. Yeah. Yeah, fifty cent was in the building last night, and Ant said he wanted to go for fifty. And he did, plus one. So now you see 50 with one on his hands. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, you know, some of these guys, man, they go for 50 whenever they want to. Yeah. They just uh, uh, try to play team ball, and you can't win going for 50 every night. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. yeah. And these yeah. guys have been winning. They, yeah. what, battling yeah. for the top so, seed right now. So they, so some of these guys actually can, can get 50, especially on a good night. If, if they hit a few shots early, they can get 50 whenever they want to. Oh, have you have you sat back and watched Anthony Edwards play? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I How that. eerily similar to Michael Jordan? Not at all. Uh, not at all. Oh my gosh! Not at all. I to can't me. believe you saying that. To really? Me. To me, not at all. I'm, I ain't even talking about his style of play. I'm talking about his mannerisms, the way he gets up and down the court, the way he looks back at people, like just the things that he does, even the way he wears his uniform, even his body type. This man looks like Michael Jordan, up, uh, Ball that head out and tell me he ain't got no resemblance to that man. He's a little thicker and a little bit muscular than Michael. You think so? Yeah, I, I think so. Man. Never think of, I mean, you know, and then, you know, if you, if you like Michael Jordan, he is, so what? This dude, I think, I think, I think MJ got two of them in the league right now. <laughs> between, between Anthony Edwards and Jimmy Butler. <laughs> and them boys, man, they got too much alike going uh, on right now, man. Yeah, Jim Butler might be a little too old. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I know. Mike, Mike 60. Yeah, yeah Jimmy Butler, he got to be in his young 30s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's you know, very possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very, very hey, possible. Hey, hey, and you go put them uh, portraits up by each other. They're going to trip you out. I'm telling you right now. But no, I was just watching him play like his mannerisms. The way you run down the court and look back, like, I was like, yeah, that's a little strange. And, you know, the word getting out, it's not just me saying that. Quite a few people oh, have know, said I this. Get, uh, I get a lot of <laughs> extra Mario. <laughs> yeah. <fine>. Relations. <laughs> Relationship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it happens. So they don't tell you about Mike. Yeah. 
Because when you out all night drinking, boy, you make some bad decisions. Oh, my gosh. I'm just telling you. I don't care who you are. If you're out all night drinking, like they brag about Mike was, you hey. make some bad decisions when you out all night and you... What they say, ain't nothing good going on past two? <laughs> hey, I ain't going to tell y'all what the old... <laughs> no, going to tell us. Going to tell us. What they say after two o'clock? Ain't gonna... <laughs> <laughs> what they say? Sell me, up, sell me left me legs. <laughs> That's on the thing that's open. <laughs> two, <three. laughs> Hey, hey, especially around here. You got two, three in the morning. You can say you want to do it. Yeah, yeah. Seven Eleven and lay like straight up, man. Straight up. Call the club and take his clothes too. Hey, if you had a three, four. Uh, hey, it's kind of it's kind of weird, you know. We got the young buck at NC State looking a lot like my boy Zach Randolph. <laughs> we got my boy dude look like yeah, yeah, mean around this junk. My well, boy you know, Ed, what's his name, Eddie. Man? What's the guy in Houston? Jalen, uh, what's that? He's supposed to be having three kids, uh, two of them on the same day. Jalen, uh, uh the, the young buck? Yeah, he's supposed to be having. Oh, a no. I, mean, I, I mean, this is all hearsay. I heard Shay Shay uh, and uh, Ocho talk yeah. about him. Wow. That, uh, two of them might be doing on the same day. This is my three kids. He got Wow, and, and I know one of them is with. One of them with that older lady. Yeah. Because he's like 20, 23, 24, and she like 41 yeah, or something. Yeah, but he's supposed to have two of them do it. And, and uh, I, I think on the hey, same Hey, boy, you better day, strap up. I think he got three do all together. <laughs> but then when these young dudes, man, they basketball Hey, players. that boy like he from Chicago. Yeah. That's how them Chicago boys yeah, get down, like man. They just trying to, don't trying to like spread the seed. Man. What T.O. do? Man, T.O. got a lot of kids. Does he really? And guess what? He don't even know some of my mama's name. Wow. Are you kidding me? She only had a baby by woman. He didn't know her name, man. Wow! Like that's I'm not. I, I'm, I'm, that, that's what he's saying. That I is he said insane. That. I didn't now, know Tio know, had out. I didn't know Tio had, had a lot of kids. Nine kids man. You know, For real? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I gotta go look that up, dog. You know, and then I got two or three too. You know. <laughs> these guys, these guys be going in, people. Come. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is the whole thing. Wow. People don't want to tell the truth. A lot of these football players. And our athletes, they haven't had any women until they get to get to get money. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, they, and they've been focused they on get money, too. Yeah. Then these women throw themselves out of it. And mm-hmm. then now, all of a sudden, you think you're handsome and good looking at which you still really look the same. <laughs> yeah. But you just got a lot of money. Yeah, he people know I'm telling the truth. I ain't trying hey, to be Hey, Rich Water, clean you up. I'm just, because I tell people all the time, and my wife got some saying about money. But I say money make a man handsome. Yeah. Money make a man handsome. Yeah, it does. Quick. Quick. Trust Quick, you know, we see it all the time. Skinny, yeah. fit, yeah. money make a man a whole. Yeah, it ain't reality. So, fine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so um, you know, we, this is something that we've been discussing. You know, you know, it's a lot of a lot of people that have been going crazy about Jokic in the past few years. We got like two MVPs recently. Yeah, in, in in recent two or three. Yeah, going. They talking about he's, you know got three. All I want to say is, the man sit, standing there next to him, Jamal Murray. Right, they won the championship last year, right? Uh, the Nuggets did. Right. Year before that, they didn't win it, did they? No, go to state. What happened the year before that? I think Jamal Murray got hurt, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Or did, oh, oh, no, Jamal Murray got hit hurt two seasons before that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like and they were good then too, right? Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't yeah. win the championship then either, right? No. But when Jamal Murray came back, they won a championship last year. Well, you know, yeah. They won a championship, huh. and and he just, he been a dog now. He's been a dog since he has been there. Oh, yeah. That injury just kind of set him back because they had a good chance to win a championship that season when he yeah, was playing. absolutely. They, they sure did. Yeah. And now that he's back, he wins the championship. But everybody's still going MVP crazy over Jokic. And I'm not saying he don't deserve it because Jokic is a dog. He's a very special talent that can do different things. Jokic might be the MVP of the league, but he might not be the MVP of the team. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because every time Denver needed a bucket, Go last year. Murray is the yeah. one that got it for him, man. Yeah. And, and he don't need, like, he creates his own shot. Yeah. He created his own shot. Yeah. Over and over and over. Yeah. He did that. You know, a couple times he played out last year, Murray dropped 40 some points. Yeah. Two, three times. So why is nobody talking about this man and the role that he plays on that dynamic team and in that dynamic duo? Right? Well, that's just, I mean, you know, it's been like that for for the longest. One, one guy, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm a guy. I'm real hard on that. One guy always give way too much credit. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. One guy always and, get way too much. I mean, that's how you feel about MJ for sure. Yeah. Oh, you know, and I'm sure there's others as well, yeah, not just MJ yeah. calling him I mean, out. Even though, even though Magic gives him way more credit than he deserved for the Lakers to just, Oh, because really? I, I was sure he had all the stars on their squad. Yeah, just like Mike did. Yeah. Had all the stars. Uh, I think Magic had a few more, though. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he. Uh, Magic, Magic yeah, had Magic, Kareem, Magic. Worthy. Mike, Mike did never have no just dynamic center like that. But he had dynamic forwards and two two dynamic forwards. Yeah. He had one of the, he had probably the best rebounding forward in the history of the NBA. Yeah, no doubt. No championship. No doubt. Yeah, I mean, so he had his, you know, he had some guys, but he I don't think he had Showtime with him. Well, you know, and nobody ever had the same. Thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know say what, but Larry Bird had, 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 had more. Had some, Larry Bird had some guys with him. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, Dennis uh, Johnson, Akeem, and... uh, Akeem Olajuwon. Yeah, had some guys with him. What do you want? Yeah, no doubt. Everybody. Go ahead, you you gotta have your guys, else you're not gonna win. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. He had a, yeah. I'm just saying they had a few more guys than Jordan had, but you know these Nuggets though. <laughs> but I guess Jordan fans thank Jordan, <laughs> you know. But I seen I seen some information on Michael Jordan shooting percentage in the playoffs. I wasn't good. Yeah, wasn't good. But his 41% defense. in the playoffs is not don't seem all that clutch to me. No. 43% in the in the playoffs in the championship year don't seem all. 45%. He, he shot 41, 43, and 45% in the playoff on three different years. Yeah. Like championship years? Championship or what years. Championship well, you know, years. You know, volume, man. As a, as a matter of fact, I see you the miss. He shot worse in the championship years than he did in his losing years. Really? Yes, he did. Go look it up. I sent it to you. Well, I mean, he played defense to get the ball back. Yeah, because he, but... was, always <laughs> the, he was always on the weakest offensive player on the other team. Uh, I mean, That's why he can... He can he can sag off Brad Russell and go steal the ball from from uh 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 Carl John, Malone. Yeah. Because Brad Russell's not an offensive threat. Yeah. But you can but he wasn't on John Stockton, because if he sagged off John Stockton, would have hit a three on him. It wouldn't have been uh, Yeah, he can't he can't he can't waste his energy on the defensive end of the ball when you know he got so much offense in his tank. That, that wouldn't that, that wouldn't make sense. That, that started wouldn't. with him. Because before, if you stick all small forwards used to stick each other. Yeah. Dr. J and and, uh, and Bernard King stuck each other. Dr. J and Larry Bird stuck each other. Dr. J and and, uh, and uh, Dominique Wilkins stuck each other. All this started with this this well, easy defense. Know, John changed the game. Huh? John changed the game yeah, in changed, many ways. Didn't make it easy for him. But I'm, 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 we'll talk about this. Yeah. But anyway, Jamal Murray deserves a lot of credit, and it's just like I say, one yeah. guy always gets too much credit. Cause we'll go on this. All yeah, day. no one, doubt. Uh, one one guy always gets too much credit. Yeah, you know what time it is. We're gonna get this guy some credit right now. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna ring. We're gonna ring this bell one. Oh, oh, the bell. You got it. Oh, you Rick. Got it. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Okay, the bell. School is in. I'm, I'm going to sit back. Uh, this is all, this is all you right here. What's going okay. down with Rick okay. Barry? Rick, Rick Barry, first off, you know, all these guys got uh, Kenyon Martin got a song in the league. Tim Hardaway got a song in the league. Uh, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen, all that. This man right here had four sons playing the NBA. So that's why I keep telling these young guys. There's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. This man right here had four, not one, not two, not three, but four sons playing the NBA. Go look it up. And this is what I want people to say. To do, when I say something, go look it up instead of believing me. Yeah. I want people to advance their own knowledge. Yeah. Not believe me. And Rick Barry is the only player that I know. And when we were talking about Dr. J was one of the marketing tools to help the ABA. ABA yep. This man may have been even a bigger marketing tool because he left the NBA to go to the ABA. Wow. Because he was dissatisfied with the coach and the and the money. Oh my gosh. And then he had to sit out a year. Wow. He had to sit out a year. Why is that? Because uh he had already signed the contract with oh, the with NBA. The, oh my goodness. So, so he couldn't he had go to play. Sit out a year. Then he went to the ABA. And won a championship and averaged thirty point something with points. the Nets. Uh, no, he went to the. Uh, I thought I saw at, 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 the, at the at the time it was the Oakland Oaks. Okay. Because he was with the Golden State, which used to be San Francisco Warriors. Yeah. Then he went to the Oakland Oaks of, of the ABA, and then when he got over there with them, he won a championship. His first year with the team. Wow. Averaged thirty points 
And then, so they said they were going to move to Washington. Yeah. He didn't want to go to Washington, so he signed back with the Golden State. Wow. Warriors. But he, he he knew he wanted to be in that open area. Yeah, yeah. He loved he, it up there. Because he's, like. Calif- he's a California Okay, dude. okay. That's so, sunshine right there, huh? Yeah, so he, <laughs> yeah. So he, so he signed back with the Warriors. Yeah. And then uh, in 1975, he led the Warriors to a NBA championship. Wow. But you, you say one thing you liked about him. He didn't care about nobody. And, and he wasn't scared of nine, for nothing. Nine out of the 14. Now, he played 14 years all together yeah. between the ABA and NBA. Nine out of the 14 years, he was all lead in either the ABA or NBA. Wow. That's, yeah. And he got a championship in both leagues. He had four songs play in the NBA. Yeah. And I, uh, I know I know Brent won the dunk contest, but yeah. he could shoot that three. Yeah, he got, he got which was crazy. Uh, Scooter. And I think uh, Brent, if it was some other, one other, one other name start with a B, but he had four songs. Yeah. One of them had a very short career, like a couple years. One, I think, played about three, four years, but the other two had long careers, eight to ten years. Yeah, I know I know Brent played for a minute. So, uh, so Rick Barry was fearless, and at the time, uh, when he retired, he, he was the uh, best free throw shooter in the history of the NBA. I think now he... He's still in the top because he he was like 92, 93% for his whole career, and he shot underhand. That's actually five. Five songs? Brent Berry, John Berry, Drew Berry, and Scooter Berry. Yeah. And current professional player, Canyon Berry. I didn't even know about Canyon. I didn't. I just found out about Canyon myself. Yeah, all of those, all of those yeah, John Berry. Yeah, John, Drew, Brent, Scooter, and Canyon. Yeah, but I didn't know about Canyon, so Canyon. please excuse me, see. Wow. No matter how much you find out about these old guys, they never continue hey. to amaze me hey. because these young guys think they're doing something. But these guys have already done it and done it better. Yeah. And you said this man averaged 30? Yeah, in the, in the ABA. His, his career average in the NBA is 23.2 or three Still? Or like, like who's a comparable to that? And, I mean, uh, I don't know if Kyrie is averaging 23 points in his career. And, and, uh, and when he, uh, like I said, he, he, he won a, a championship in both leagues. And then by him going to the ABA and then winning the championship and then coming back to the NBA winning the championship, he won the championship in 1975 in the NBA, and that just so happened is the is the year that they merged. Mm, gotcha. That's crazy. And, and then also in 1975 or four, David Thompson went to the Denver Nuggets, which he was the best player in college. And once all the better players, some a lot of the better players start going to the ABA. Yeah. But Rick Barry, Dr. J, and then David Thompson going. I think those were the three guys that really drew made the NBA make that decision merger, to make that merger. Yeah, yeah come yeah, to the so, table. So Rick Barry dominated in the ABA and NBA. That's crazy. That's and when crazy. he won the championship in '75 with the uh, with the Golden State Warriors, he was a uh, uh, Finals MVP. Wow! See, and, I, it's, uh, it's I stuff I never average, knew. He averaged 29 points during that season. So was he was he super I athletic? Mean, did, did he have hops? Was he quick? I know he could, could shoot that thing. Uh, like, what was know, his was just, What was his main? A scorer, Rick yeah. Curry could score from anywhere. Yeah, and the reason. That his average went from 23 to 30 in the NBA because he was shooting threes. Mm, in the NBA. Gotcha. The NBA had threes. Yeah. So that helped his scoring go up. And then the NBA, like I say, was is a lot reminiscent of what the NBA is now. The NBA wasn't as physical mm-hmm. as the NBA was back then because the NBA was fairly more physical. Like I said, the NBA had the three point line, yeah. the high flyers, all the shooters, the fancy dribblers. All those guys went to the NBA wow. pretty much. And, uh, and like I said, all the guys that came from the NBA that were stars came to the NBA. They were stars in the NBA. Yeah. But this man here was one of the driving forces, and, and he is the only player that I know. Somebody else may have done it. Now, no players left the ABA and came to the NBA, but I think he's the only guy that left the NBA and went to the ABA. That's And these guys here, and they're talking about changing the game. Rick Barry... Going back and forth to other leagues, and Will Chamberlain coming out of college early in the fifties. Yeah, they changed the game, and Spencer Haywood. A lot of people don't even know he him. played with the Lakers, didn't he? He started out with uh, Seattle. I think he did. But he came over to the Lakers. Yeah, he's the he's the one that uh, 
filed for free agency. He had to go to court. He sit out two, three years. Mm, fighting for free. Yeah. See, Spencer Haywood was a phenomenal player, He's, but he lost two or three years fighting free agency. So now his career don't look like it should. He was the father of free agency, right? Right. Yeah, because he sued. He sued. For all sports. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. he, he didn't want to be controlled by that, yeah, by that, by that organization. Yeah. So so when so we ring the bell, it's hard to talk about one guy. Yeah. But Rick Barry is the main focus. So and I didn't know he had five songs. Man. I didn't even know about this youngest Barry. I gotta go check out Canyon. I never heard of Canyon I, until I, I right now. And, and, you and know, hopefully Google AI, you ain't messing with me. And messing with us, giving and us you know, no Rick false Barry information. Was man. One of these type guys that was uh you would consider him arrogant or whatever, but he would just tell you, man, these guys can't stop me. Hey, I ain't cocky. Hey, that's, that's who I want on my team, yeah. man. I want a cocky dude to think like yeah, that. I say, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I can go get 40 yeah. you know, if I want to, but I'm going to get 25 and then get eight rebounds and then seven assists. You can get your mama, assists. your brother, yeah, your daddy, that. your granddaddy. They can bring an army with him. Can't none of y'all stop me, dog. So he was none like, of y'all, bro. You that dude. <laughs> and you mean, you know, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing, but this is, this is, this is just how people talk. Just like Larry Bird said that uh, one time when they put, uh, what's the dude, man? He, he went to Notre Dame, Hanslick, I think. Mm -hmm. They put Hanslick on him and he told him, y'all disrespecting me by putting the white guy on me. <laughs> yeah, I remember, yeah. This dude here is that dude right there, Larry Bird. Yeah. He was the Larry Bird for Larry Bird. Oh, wow. Don't put, I mean, you know, man, you got to put somebody good on me. Or yeah. Else. I'm going to kill him just to show y'all don't do me like that. Yeah, man. You know, so like, what's wrong that. with you, bro? So that's what Rick Barry, he's that, he's that kind of guy. I love it. I yeah. love it. Well, there you go for Ring the Bell. Yeah. Hey, y'all go do your research on Rick Barry and five his... Songs. Not that. one, not two, yeah. not three, not four. Five. five. The Berry Five, man. The Berry Five. Go check them boys out, hey, I, man. I'll tell you this. He can, he can put his family look at You go get five members of your family, and I go get my song to see who's going to win. <laughs> I don't think nobody in their family got five members. The Jackson Five ain't gonna get down hey, with him. I tell you that. They can out dance the same. <laughs> yeah. They ain't gonna beat him in that. <laughs> might out robot around the junk, you know. Get that fro moving on yeah. there. <laughs> Michael, Michael might moonwalk all around. <laughs> yeah. But that's about it when yeah, it comes to them yeah, bad brothers, man. Uh oh. So celebrity March Madness finals, man. We have come down to this. Shaq beat my boy. Shaq has beaten Peyton Manning. Oh, Shaq no problem. Ooh wee, this is a oh, final wow. for you right here. We got I had picked pick Shay Shay and Peyton. Yeah, we got Shay Shay and Shaq, boy. So oh, I'm Shay Shay gonna knock him out. I don't know, man. Yeah. People love Shaq, man. Shaq is he is Shaq, for the people, Shay, man. Shay, Shay, I don't need a man right now. Yeah, but Shaq been he been hot, you know? But Shaq, Shaq been hot since what, 96? Well, see, this is all internet hot. Yeah, you Shaq hot. <laughs> Shaq commercial, you know, Shaq TV hot. Yeah. You gotta be on the internet, but if it's right now on the internet, yeah. Shaq is knocking everybody out the box. Yeah, he is, man. I mean, so he I'm is. wrong with it. You know, if this was a vote on TV, yeah. I'm going with Shaq, but all this on the internet. Yeah, bro. man. Hey, so, hey, I appreciate everybody that's participated, man. Congrats to all the finalists. You know, Molly, uh, Shannon Sharp, Shaq. Pay man, and congrats, man. The people love y'all, but it's only two remaining. There's only going to be one standing. One first annual Noonish Celebrity uh, Personality uh, March Madness Tournament winner, man. So we will have it going tomorrow. So y'all y'all check out. Go to IG tomorrow. Go to the Noonish underscore live page, right? Go to the story, and let's see who's going to win this final. It's going down first thing I'm in the morning. For, I'm, I'm pulling for Unk, I was yeah, you going for unk? Yeah, I'm I mean, Shannon. I don't care what people think about Shannon. Shannon is uh, I'm gonna say it like this: Shannon more more like me than I than I than Shaq is. Yeah, because Shannon is country. Yep, he said got a a ton of country saying. Yeah, if you, if you don't know what he's talking about, <laughs> he will lose you. And I and then every time you say one of them, I understand it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, yeah. And, you know, people. Shannon may have got a little beside himself with that stylist. Oh, man. But, uh, I'm going to say it like this. I've been like him, Shannon. Yeah, yeah, no I've doubt. Like no doubt, since he yeah. played football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, you know, Shannon has always been uh, I don't know if you remember when uh, Denver played the Falcons in the Super Bowl. 
Back yeah. in the gap, yeah, the yeah, Dirty yeah, Birds, no. yeah. Rape, and Rape you kinda yeah. said something to, or, about Shannon. No, what do you, no, I don't remember that. And uh, Shannon, uh, you know, Shannon, uh, I was saying some of the more country sayings and half of the people yeah. didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> he made, uh, like I said, uh, we got this thing we call scoring. Don't get into playing the dubs and scoring with Shannon. Yeah. He's going to outscore you. Yeah, yeah. He got too many sayings. Yeah, he does. You know, he got yeah, a lot he of does. And he, he, he great. He's great entertainment. I watch Shay Shay. I watch Nightcap. I watch uh, Club Shay Shay. You know, I man, watch First Take. I, I watch Shannon Sharp, yeah, man, a lot. I got, me too. And I heard uh, a couple of them guys say, "What man called himself Shay Shay?" But I thought the club was called Shay Shay. Exactly. I didn't think he was Shay Shay. Yeah. So I always called the club Shay Shay. Yeah, that's it. That's that's club it. I, I never refer to him. Yeah. Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. Yep. So and they call him Unk. Those yeah, are his nicknames. These guys, what the whole thing of it is is. They jealous because Shannon and came in on the internet and they've been on there alone with Shannon and he blew them up, blew past them, made more money and all that. Well, they think. That's what they think. Shannon actually been there longer than him. Shannon, he been on Club Shay Shay for four years now. Yeah. Four yeah. years running. A lot of these cats didn't come up past past couple years. But it takes time, man. It, especially when you have an organic audience and you're building something true. Right, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and and Shannon Sharp's audience is is, is real. They true to him. Oh, yeah. They've been oh, there, yeah. and more people are finding out. Yeah, finding and they out. sticking. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said, I was. I mean, you know, because this is the whole thing. When when uh, people talk about people, this let me know one thing. Let me know how you that feel about That person is doing something. Yeah. People don't talk about people that ain't, that's not doing anything. Absolutely. So, so absolutely. When, so when somebody come to me and says, "Say, Ron, you know." Uh, J.A.'s over there talking about you. I said, good, man. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm doing something. Because <laughs> yeah. this thing. I ain't saying nothing about J.A. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so they yeah. say something. I said, man, I ain't even thought about them. Yeah. I ain't said them. Like, it's like, oh, for real? Yeah, I am sorry. I, I, I haven't said nothing about them. They got my I name in their mouth. Yeah. So, you know, so they'll let you know that they're thinking about you while you're not thinking Yeah, and if you ain't doing nothing. The only reason they're thinking about you is because you're doing something. Exactly. So when people talk about you, Put that up. Running around on a bad, bad wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, if you, know if you ain't got no haters, that means you ain't doing enough, man. That's it. You ain't doing nothing, That's it. But yeah, we're going to have this finals play out tomorrow. So let's see what shakes, man. But we're going to keep this thing rolling. Do, 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 do. Next up, man. So did you know that the UConn Husky NCAA men's basketball team has gone back to back? Did you know that, Unc? Did you know? Well, <laughs> I'm like millions of other people. No, I didn't. <laughs> didn't have a clue, actually. I didn't yeah. have a clue. You know, because I was looking for the game, man, the other night. It was on TNT. I believe so. TBS or something so, like that. I, I mean, you know, they got to whatever happened to put these, putting these games on. Especially, ABC, yeah. CBS, NBC. Because uh, the, Fox, especially the know, national championship. I wasn't even game. looking on, and, and then by the time I found out that the game had been played, we had a back-to-back -back champion, <laughs> and this is the honest truth. I I had to think hard to remember that UConn One won it last year. year. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. you know, and we had talked about this earlier. The men's game is really suffering with this one and done. Yep. And, um, they got guys fun. going to the G League. Guys don't even go. They can go to the G League for a year. Well, they did. They so they at a high school. They did have that G League Ignite team, right? And yeah. they've decided they're getting rid of that team this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're so not going to have that option go. anymore. So every but 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 still, you know, when yeah, a guy go to college overseas for one year, or to college is your options. When your best players are coming one year and leaving, and then the guys that are actually staying. Will probably never be in the NBA. Yeah, but those are the guys winning the national championships because yeah. their team actually got chemistry and camaraderie. Yeah, but uh, you know, you 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 uh, running you deep in the playoffs at least. Players, you don't get to say, okay, this guy came in his freshman year, he averaged six. Then he got to sophomore, he averaged twelve. Then junior year, he averaged eighteen. Now he's going to going in the draft. You know, by the time you realize a guy, and then some of these guys <laughs> that uh, got drafted in the lottery. Didn't even average but six and five points in college. Yeah. Like Zach Levine and yep. I think even Aaron Gordon and those Oh guys, yeah. They wasn't even they weren't no I mean Kyrie barely played at Duke. Barely played at Duke. How many games he played? Ten? Then he got if that, 
I don't even know if he played 10 games to do. Might have been two or three. Yeah. He got hurt, then he went to the league. Yep. So, you know, that's been going on for a while. And then I heard, and this, I don't know if this will ever happen again. Like Kareem, uh, not Kareem. um, Yeah, Kareem. Kareem Abdul, Lou Alcindor, went 88 and two in college. Oh, no, that won't ever happen. 88 wins and two losses in college. Yeah, and uh, Bill Walton went for not far behind. And I think he won, what, three national championships? Three national championships. And the only reason he didn't win, win four, you know why he didn't win four, right? He got injured, huh? Uh, uh, what happened? Freshman couldn't play in um, varsity back then. Oh, uh, that's why he only played three seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And so they had varsity was in college? That's university was considered varsity back then? I mean, uh, you know the, the universities had a freshman team. Oh team. my gosh! The freshman team just played freshman ball. Wow! So it was no way you was gonna hit no one and done back in the yeah, game. Yeah, and you wasn't, you know. And if you played four years, like, and you couldn't win four championships, yeah, because you couldn't. You only had three. Yeah, yeah, you only had three years. So that's wow. Why you had three. If you'd have played four, you'd have had four. But when eighty-eight and two, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Like, we ain't gonna see that again. No, no, he lost to not on the men's side anyway. We might uh, sit on the women's side. He lost to. The University of Houston. Wow. And they broke. I can't. I can't remember. They had a long winning streak. The first loss he got was uh, his sophomore year. Okay. And the second loss was his senior year. And that wasn't that. That wasn't that team with uh with Clyde Dressen and them. No, that was before no, then. No, Clyde Dressen. I that didn't was, know Houston was going on like that no, back then. University of Houston had Elvin Hayes, man. Oh wow. Elvin Hayes. Yeah. Elvin Hayes. Was the one was the was the catalyst of the one that broke his yeah and they, wow and and him and Kareem was uh and for years and years because those guys were serious about winning yeah but the University of Houston uh, stopped the uh, UCLA winning streak yeah that's uh and they did it in the Astrodome that's pretty wild of, and that's John Wooden's squad right yeah. where they won what like ten straight national championships in a row uh, from like sixty two well, to seventy three or something sure. yeah I know they won seven in a row for sure. Yeah, like that, yeah, know. that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, we ain't gonna see that no more. No, no, because nobody's gonna stay in college long enough to do it. But you know who the people are watching though, won't? Huh? They're watching the. They're wa- yeah. The yeah. women, the it, it, it's crazy. NCAA women. Nobody know. Nobody even knew the men were playing. I mean, I don't want to say nobody. I mean, yeah. Compared but the women, nobody. People that went to UConn and people that went to Purdue, they knew yeah. that the game was going on. But outside of that, you know, I, I knew the game was going on. I watched it a little bit. I just wanted to see the big seven foot four dude that ironic that looks a lot like Yao Ming, by the way. Last name Edie. Yeah. Looks a lot like Yao Ming, though, by the way, like I said. Um I knew they were playing. I was I was not impressed by that Edie guy. UConn was really good. They're gonna be good for a long time. But on the women's side, everybody knew this game was on. To the point oh. to where it was the most watched. NCAA men's or women's basketball game in the history ever. of the NCAA college basketball ever ever and, and it should have been and it was a great game too oh yeah it was a great game yeah and I found out about uh, something about the young lady from uh, South Carolina that yeah played center what's yeah. her name Chamber what's no it's not it's uh it's like co- co- I, I'll look it up she's got well, anyway. a, like, she's got a Hispanic last name you know she's from uh, Australia the, are you serious yeah a lot like Liz Cambridge. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know that. I didn't either. But Australia don't want to play on their national team anymore. Why? No, oh, they said she did some things. What what you mean? Uh she uh they showed her elbow and some other girl or something. They saying that I don't know why. They don't want to win, I guess. But oh, yeah. that's that's foolish, man, because women's sports have always been more vicious than men's. Girls don't care. They scratch, pull her, they do everything. <laughs> Poke you in the eye, elbow. Like yeah. that's a shock to somebody, a girl elbow somebody else. I mean, when they say that she just don't, uh, she don't uh, represent the team. Oh man, they tripping. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's, that's Camila her. Camila Cardoza. Yeah, she uh, that's the that one six eight. The yeah, six eight girl. Yeah, she's from Australia. Oh my gosh! And they don't want her on the national team, and I don't know why. That's insane. I also see she got some Brazil ties here too. So she was born in Brazil, it looks like, but she must have been raised in, in uh, Australia. I think it's Australia. Who now, I know, I know, Lee. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure 
One of those national teams she played for, they said they don't want her back. That girl huge, huh? Man, and she's tough, man. And she's good, too. She's tough, too. <laughs> and she, I mean, because I've seen, seen her, man. She uh, she was in the post on somebody. This is during the tournament. Yeah. She was she was telling them, give me the ball. She can't stop me. She was just laughing. Yeah. Going to get, give me yeah. the ball. She can't stop wow. me. Wow. And then got it and was laughing. And going to work. And fake this way. <laughs> I, went inside. I, was like, I love laughing. saying that. She I love saying that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and meanwhile, Caitlin Clark did have a pretty good game, but they had a young girl on her, like, glue. Uh, Rich, yeah. uh, Rich, what was it like? I can't. What was it, girl? This young lady was like I got to give her her props. Woman. Oh, my I mean, gosh. Caitlin Clark got a lot of skills and yeah. all that. But, I mean, I, I, I can't say because KD even played in the league. A long time, but I think Caitlin is going to have to get in that weight room a little bit. Oh, no, so there's no doubt that. about that. Those, those girls, they sitting over there, they waiting on them. Yeah. That's all she got a, she got a, she, you know, she got a pro shot, but she got a school girl body. Johnson, that's her name. Yeah. Uh, Raven Johnson. Yeah, but uh, Kayla Clark. Deed yeah. her up. Yeah, she got a school girl body. Yeah. But she got an NBA, WNBA shot. Oh, yeah, she, 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 she got an NBA, she got an NBA shot. <laughs> Kayla Clark wet, huh? Man, yeah, I put a I put in a three point contest against any NBA cat right now. Oh, the three point contest. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't talking about somebody gardening now. Now that that's why I wouldn't mind center playing a big three either. Did, Just a few did, games. Uh, who's that Steph just shot against somebody? Ionesco. I, I, uh She's a another uh, M, a WNBA player, baller, but she can shoot that thing. No, I, she yeah, cause Steph uh, barely did he speed on barely. the last shot? Did yeah, he, he barely beat him. on the last shot or two. Barely. So I love I love to see Caitlin Clark do something like that and just see how she fair or go play in the big three. I, I like to see how she playing the big three. You okay. know she gonna stay around that perimeter. She ain't gonna drive or nothing. But sure. you gotta come out. She gonna open up floor because you gotta come out and guard her. Yeah, somebody gonna be out there. Because <laughs> yeah. when you open, you open. It don't matter. That's who, it. Who you shooting on? If you you open, you open. You yep. Know. She can hit an open shot. All day long, mm-hmm. man. All day long. And then, uh, you know, we're going to keep this train rolling. Still in NCAA basketball. Had some news come out of the SWAC this week. Uh, their best player in the SWAC, uh, Miss Zay Green, has entered the transfer portal. She has entered the transfer portal, portal as a graduate senior. Uh, evidently, the head coach has taken a job at Arkansas State. And Zay Green has chosen not to follow her. And uh, evidently, it's quite a few teams that want her. Uh, I know on the list of Ole Miss, uh, Tennessee is also after her, the, her. Her first school that she was a part of uh, before she transferred out. And they all they all want her back. But right now, Zay is projected as the number two pick in next year's WNBA draft. Well, I'll say this. Depends on what I what her NIL deal is. If her NIL deal is go back to college, because you can make more than two hundred fifty thousand. That's the highest paid salary oh, yeah. in the. In the oh, she's going back to college next year. Yeah, so no she's doubt. Going back to college. No so, doubt. So yeah. doing like her LF because you're going back to college. Yeah, to college. college. I don't <laughs> think. So. <laughs> okay, I don't. That'd think be so. good for her to go back to college. Yeah, she probably can get one or two million. Yeah, Easy yeah. College, you know. yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I think she'll, uh, I think she'll go end up somewhere in the SEC. I can, I can definitely see her going back to Tennessee or Ole Miss, oh, yeah. but we shall see. But it's great to have options. Uh, congratulations on another great year. We followed you all year, Zay. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, we're gonna keep people abreast until you get to that WNBA. So, moving on to the next. On oh, with your next. Oh, oh. Oh, good. Yeah, man. Bring me some money, please. <laughs> so what I heard is that CD Lamb. I heard that too. Is gonna hold out. I heard that too. As he should. I'd hold out too. Why the? Well, they said they was gonna. I th- I thought he was a priority over 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 uh, Michael Parsons. I thought I thought they was going all in. Cause you know Jerry has been uh, saying some things about Michael Parsons also. Recently, yeah, you know, trying to, you know, because trying because contract up, trying, yeah, you know, trying to devalue the, 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 to the, devalue the product. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, you know, Jerry good, good for that. Huh? Jerry good for that. You know, oh, the, yeah. their their uh one of their college targets um was arrested with a DWI down in Austin this week, <laughs> trying oh. to lower that value. It was one of the D tackles. Oh, down there. They oh, got their eyes on. Texas. Yeah. Oh, he ran a four. Yeah. Yeah, he ran a four. four, four, four hey, I'm, I'm sure Jerry got on that phone. Like, hey, uh, 
I need y'all to go and pull this young man over. Make sure you go out on a Saturday night and go find him somewhere inebriated. We need to go in and get that guy in the fourth yeah, round. Dude. We can't get him in the top three. We got we need guards. Yeah. We need we need old linemen in the first few rounds, but if you can make him drop to the fourth, please. Uh, but but see he's saying gonna hold out if they don't come with you. Yeah. As as he should hold up. Yeah. See, this is the dog on our squad. Like, I'd hold out until Trey Lance was the quarterback if I was CD. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. It's, I mean, because it's, again, all right, you have right now CD Lamb, you have Dak Prescott, and you have Michael Parsons. Your three most prominent players on the squad at this point in time. Absolutely. And their contracts all. are all up, and they can all, all of those guys can set the market. With their contracts. Then they can set the market around the league. Yeah. And and so if I'm Jerry Jones, I'm signing C D and I'm signing Mark, Micah. I'm 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 definitely locking them two down. I need those guys happy because uh, I tell you what, if I'm C D, I'm looking at what's going on right down the highway, down forty five, with CJ Stroud, with uh with with with, with Dick, Stefan Diggs, those two young receivers they got, with Joe Mixon. Right, a guy I already played with, or I'm sorry, we were both we're both alums from OU. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like right down the road out there with them H Town boys, Slim Thug, Paul Wall, you know, <laughs> uh them boys, you know, they they Houston Texans up right now. The Houston Texans are hot right now in Houston. Oh yeah. So yeah, but uh this is a, you know, it's a dangerous game what the Cowboys doing right now. Absolutely it is. Because if these guys bet on themselves. Yeah. I mean, because they <clears throat> Cowboys can't afford them. It's a dangerous game they play, even with even with that. I mean, I don't you know. know. <laughs> you can you can you can say what you want to say, but this is the thing. By the numbers now, you don't like that because he's a Dallas quarterback. But by the, by the numbers, Dak is a top four or five quarterback. Yeah, man. I get that, but you know. I, but I'm gonna say this: if Dak Prescott had the same year, kind of year. Next year, yeah, that he had this year, thirty-eight interceptions with ten. I mean, I mean, thirty-eight touchdowns with ten interceptions. He gonna get the bag from somebody. No playoff wins. Oh yeah, he gonna he gonna get it from somebody. Yeah, not necessarily the Cowboys yeah, though. Yeah, not that, but but he gonna get the bag. I finally heard somebody I mean, this morning. You know, I finally heard somebody say what I've been saying. What's that? And it was uh, what's my guy? Um, ah, oh, he was in a contest. Uh, on ESPN, you know the 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 brother on there, the bald headed brother that used to be a GM in the league. Oh, uh, I can't think of his name. It saved my life right now. Oh, uh, Louis Louis uh, Riddick. Yeah, Louis Riddick. Louis Riddick finally said it this morning. He finally said, "I don't know why people act as if Trey Lance is washed up. This young man's book, his story isn't even written. The first page isn't even written. No, yeah, no. This man was the third pick of the draft, right. and nobody's talking about Trey Lance." That's why the Cowboys ain't worried about that. Yeah, so if I, I I'm mean, Jerry, I'm taking care of CD and I'm taking care of Micah because I know Trey is right there ready to rock, man. Okay. I don't care about nothing else. And I'm going to take my chances on Trey Lance and I'm going to grow with him. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take my chances on him because I know, I know what I'm going to get out of that. Yeah. I'm going to get a great hollow man season. We might get four, we might go 14-2 and two and lose in the first round because we can't, can't score yeah. 10 points. Yeah, that's what I'm going to get out of that. There's a lot of quarterbacks. That's what you're gonna get out of. Uh, yeah, but so, I, I, so this is what I'm saying. You ain't got, but you gonna get that because so far you've got that out of Lamar. You didn't got it out of uh, what's the guy, Josh Allen. Yeah, he, and and these other quarterbacks hey. they say are so good. Uh, Justin Herbert, they didn't even make the playoffs. So all of these guys are one. They got the same resume that guy. Man, so, so you so you gonna have to bank on Trey Lance. Cause if you don't get Lamar, he got the same resume that guy. I'm not giving Dak another contract for, for no no extended amount of time. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I know I, what I'm gonna get. Oh, I like like when my boy George Bush say, "Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you can't fool me again." Yeah. Hey. <laughs> he changed the whole saying up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you can't fool me again. You already fooled Absolutely. me for 140. Matter of fact, I paid you that 140 for your first three years when you did what you did when Romo got hurt and we was pretty solid. Yeah. And I paid you for that leg injury. But outside of that, you can't fool me again, Dak. I can't do it, bro. I'm not going to take my shot. I ain't taking no chances on you. I'm signing CD and Michael. Period. But Dak, that's the whole thing. Like now, I said, Dak, if you, if Dak you take me to the Super Bowl. Dak is going to. See, this is the whole thing. Yeah. If he do win a couple of. If yeah. this just happened to be the year that he do win a couple of playoff games, yeah. he really going to get oh, the he gonna, yeah, I, he I, gonna I, get I, a huge I'd rather, I'd rather him get it that way yeah. than just give it to him. Oh, 
But all the rest of them got to give it to them. Hey, you know, it is I what mean, it I'm is. Saying, but all the rest of them ain't the Cowboys, that's though. What the league, oh, oh, yeah. That's what the league is about. Dallas is not going to be... You got to conform. You ain't going to be that much different hey, from everybody else. Yeah, he, well, Cause all Jerry, these, uh, Jerry uh, do everything it? different. Uh, Don't pick and choose when you want to be different, Jerry. If you're going to uh, be different, you know, be different all the time, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, all <laughs> be I'm consistent with it. Is, is, it's, a, it's a dice roll mm-hmm. in the way they go. Yeah. Uh, Trey Lance is the third round, I mean, number three pick. Absolutely. Wow. But he's unproven. And uh, so you're going to have to go in there hey. and hope that he's going to be. Uh, Hope he's going to be Brock Prudy or what's the guy down in Houston? T.J. Stroud, and we got another yep. young quarterback. Yep. Uh, um, Jordan Love. Yeah. He, better, he, he got to be one of them three guys. Yeah. He yeah. got to be one of those three yeah. guys. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. And I think I had the wrong graphic up right here, boy. Not no, nah, not the wrong graphic up there on, on the screen, man. My bad. Oh, yeah. That's I CD. can't see that far. Yeah, you know, a CD is uh, all. <laughs> like I said, CD has got a... <laughs> Dude, this is... See, he got to be a little bit more consistent in the balls that he catch also. Too many balls in CD and then he didn't come away with them. Oh, yeah. For, for me. Yeah. Not I, saying that he's not a top receiver, but for me, too. I mean, that's the same way like Diggs. Down there, going down there. Everybody talking about Diggs down there, Diggs down there. Diggs. I, Diggs got one of the problems CD got. Yeah. He dropped some critical balls. Yeah, he did. All, not just in that one game. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, yeah. I, I seen him do His it. His career. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. So. So all these guys, they want to go somewhere. But the only thing I say, you got to produce. Absolutely. You want to figure at somebody else. You better you, show you up. You better produce. Absolutely. You know? Every and time. Like I said, I've seen Diggs. I've seen several of them hit his hands and he yeah. didn't come away with them. Yeah, every time, yeah, you, know, so every you, time you point your finger, yeah, that's going to put a magnifying glass even bigger yeah, on you. So, so you know, For like, sure. And like I said, I like CD and I want CD to do good, but I just need CD to be. Come take the ball. Yeah. Take the ball. Yeah, more more like Dez. Yeah, take the ball. More like Not Dez. wait for it to come. More like Michael Irvin. Yeah. More like Tony Hill. Dallas had a lot of receivers take the ball. More like the other previous 88s. 88, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. But we're going to keep this thing rolling, Maybe man. More. And we we'll put it for you, CD. Absolutely. Big dog. Oh, yeah. So our Texas Rangers, man. So uh, this past weekend, we went out and we split with the Houston Astros. You know, started out to... Uh, 2-0, uh, you know, blowing the brakes out of them, off of them on uh, Friday night. And then Saturday had a pretty good game. I think we beat them like 11-2 Friday. Saturday we beat them pretty good. And then Sunday we come out and take an L. They get us 10-5 on Monday, right? And uh, so we ended up splitting the first season with the Houston Astros, the, the nemesis. We hate them still. Going to hate them for life. But, uh, but what we did see out of that, is a uh, we have a pretty good new uh, pitcher, man, and uh, Udi Udias, I believe his name is, right? Uh, it ain't it ain't Anderson, it ain't uh, Smith or Jackson, but uh, his last name is. Let me uh, just to make sure, I got it on my notes right here, man. Where my notes go? But the young buck, he's bald, man. They've called his number a couple different times, and he's come in and he's done his job. Orena, and he is a dog, and I'm glad that he's here. Because LeClerc is struggling right now. Our closer that was struggling in the postseason last year, he's struggling in the beginning of the season right now. Blew a save last night. Uh, we were supposed to win that game. Uh, what's today? Tuesday? Uh, Taze Wednesday? I believe that was last night. Uh, or it may have been Monday night. I forget. Monday night, night. Monday night. Monday night. We were supposed to win that game. We were up in the ninth inning. Uh, my guy comes in, gives up. A f- now, that was last night. But that was last night. Okay. A guy gave up. He comes in, gives up an absolute tank to a guy with a weird last name. Uh, the type of name that just makes you, I don't know, make you want to go spit or something. You make it throw at you a little bit. Just a weird last name. I can't lang lang. I can't lang 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 lang. <laughs> I called him lang lang man, but uh, yeah, man, he gave up another bomb, and you know he's been hit hard. Dang it, every time I see him come out now, I'm expecting him to get hit real hard. Yeah. And um, LeClerc, figure it out, man. My mama love you. She think you look like my son. So uh, you got to figure that out so she can keep rooting for you, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> Look like dudes. <laughs> look like Prince. <laughs> no, he don't look like Prince. I didn't think no. so either, but my no, mama, he don't look like Prince. Hey, my mama swear. My mama swear he look like Prince. But hey, we're going to take a little break, man. We'll be right back, y'all.
What up, man? We are back, man. Back, back, back. So, back, back, back. blame it on technology. Yeah, man. Technology is always, yeah, always you know. with technology. So, yeah, we just got a couple, couple subjects to talk about right here. So, first off, Southern University, man, has gone out and beat the defending national champions in the NCAA, the LSU Tigers. Now, if this was any other sport, this would be all over everything. Yeah, right, HBCU beat the national champions. Beat the defending national champions. Yes, sir. If that was basketball, yeah, or football, yeah, they would be all over everything. Everything. Every ever everything. Everything. No, you know? everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Straight up, man. Hey, so man, that's 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 yeah. actually. Phenomenal. That's huge news, man. Yeah, that's huge news, man. That is so, huge news. So congratulations to Southern Jaguars, man. They've had a great baseball program forever. I was this close to going to Southern. I was on my visit. I was on my visit to Southern when I got a call from my coach telling me about my best friends going to another school, and I made that decision to go to UT Top. But I was at Southern, man. I was this close to going to Southern, man, because they got – that is the baseball school in HBCU. Okay. We've put out Southern, I say we've Southern has put out a ton of prospects in, in Major League Baseball. I think Ricky Weeks is the most uh recent stud that came out of Southern. You oh, know, I didn't know he came from Southern. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, Southern man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all, y'all uh I, I love it, man. I don't know if Coach Cato's still out there, but whoever's running that program at this point in time, yeah. congratulations, baseball, man. man. Yes, congratulations, man. Yeah, and then, no. So they won't have no excuse because they keep saying we're not playing baseball. Yeah, man. Like, I'm tired of hearing All the black schools got baseball teams. Yeah, I'm tired. So hey, I don't understand. We, we, we playing. Yeah, we playing. We, we playing. playing. It's I mean, just but, opportunity. You told me 59 players, man. Yeah. I, yeah like I, I said, is. at the end of the day, and this is, uh, even though it's 2024, um, they don't want to pay us the same – uh, same bag that they're paying our, our, our white um, Padres, right? Our white peers. And it is what it is. Uh, it's business. It's America. It is what yeah. it is. It yeah. sucks. I'm but uh, don't. Pride. You can do what you want to with your own money. And don't be fooled when they keep saying that ain't no black people playing because there's plenty of black boys playing baseball at a very good rate, man. Straight up. The proof is in the pudding. Southern just beat LSU. Shit, I'm going to call you a lot before you call me one. <laughs> And Next this up, phenomenal. this is insane. So, I don't know if you guys have heard of this kid out of Mississippi. And let me go on and swatch, swap that. Wop, wop. The little graphic. I just like, you know, let's, let's, let's keep it funky. Keep it looking good, right? Very tough name to pronounce. Uh, so, I'm just going to pronounce his first name as best as I can. Because the young man uh, deserves to, to be called out correctly. But Gerangelo. We're going to call him Gerangelo. Um, Jurangelo, if we say it in Spanish. I don't know if it, I, I don't, I haven't heard the young man speak, but he's pitching. He goes to the university or Mississippi State University. This kid throw, he's ambidextrous. He pitches from the left side and the right side, throws 90 plus from both sides, and is nasty, man. He's five and one right now uh, in, in college. He's got 44 strikeouts. And, uh, I'm sorry, 61 strikeouts and 44 innings uh, of ball right now. So he's averaging more than one strikeout per inning, right? Almost one and a half strikeouts per inning. Yeah. So that's <laughs> it's pretty significant, bro. You know, and the thing, he, like, it's just, okay, so he's on the bump. He's got this weird-looking glove, right? He's got two webs on it, okay? Because he can take it off his left hand and put it on his right hand and come at you lefty right now for matchup purposes. You know what I'm saying? Like, this kid is nuts, man. This kid is nuts. That's, <laughs> the, that's the craziest thing. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's one of the greatest athletic feats yeah. that I've ever heard of. Yeah. Is that one guy, and he can he can be on the mound yeah. and switch from righty and lefty, and, and depends on from one pitcher to the next. Yeah, and there's no drop-off in talent. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, is it, I mean, I ain't never seen it. I have never even seen anything. I've never even heard of anything close to this. I've never seen it, man. But this kid is special. Yeah, and you know Mississippi State is usually in the 
may not be in the college world, world series. Yeah, yeah, they always in the college world, world series. series. Yeah, they, that is not a slouch school. Like that and is a very good school. Guys to the league, to the league. Yeah, and oh. this young man, <laughs> he can be on the mound <laughs> and pitch right handed. Take his glove off. See who's coming. Oh, I got to pitch this guy. Look. Yeah. Take it off of his hand. Yeah. And put it on this hand. And then start pitching. Now that is amazing. Yeah. And he's throwing 94, five miles an hour. From both, both sides. From Sliders both on both sides. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he's nasty, man. man but you look. Real, man, that's some Will Chamberlain type <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Unheard of. <laughs> Unheard of, man. Yeah, but y'all go go check this kid out, man. If you can't say his name, just Google ambidextrous picture. Oh, ambidextrous it's picture, man. This dude, so the glove, it's got six fingers. It's so crazy looking. I'm just I'm fascinated by the glove, right? Because I've never seen nothing like this. He's got two thumbs on his gloves because he's got to be able to switch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy you know, watching I'm this kid play, man. By talent. Yeah. Because man, I mean, you know, when they talk about Things that ain't never been done, trend setters and all that. Yeah. See, but all they do is take one. Oh, absolutely. Now, if he go to the league, it's going to be a five or six year old boy somewhere saying, training, oh, yeah. Training to do absolutely. it. Absolutely. So that's going to be, the, uh, yeah. you know, so Man. One, one person do it, you can look for it to happen. And think about that contract that he's negotiating, right? He gets to negotiate as a left handed pitcher and a right handed pitcher. pitcher. You know what I'm saying? Like can, that, that's I two mean, contracts. Can, just like show, he just got the bag. He can, he can. Also, He's gonna get the bag too if he delivers at that also, level. He can also negotiate as a starter and a closer. Yeah, I, I was thinking that same thing when I was talking a second ago. Left hand, right hand, yeah, right hand, yeah, and reliever, yeah, yeah, have a close right hand. Okay, we need some. We need a left handed pitcher. Yeah, okay. you ain't throwing with your left hand on the cut. <laughs> you you throwing all with your right hand yesterday, so your left arm is still fresh. Yep. Yep. So he can, man. This this guy can actually shorten your your the rotation. rotation. Yeah, you can get another position player on the field because he can pitch. Okay, we need. <laughs> okay, because most of the time now I'm not a big baseball guy, but I think that usually you try to keep at least a couple of lefties. Oh yeah, and, 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 pitching, like, yeah. pitching is going to take up most of your roster. Yeah, so, right? so even so though you have, might need an extra outfield or yeah. an extra utility guy, but I'm saying most of the time. You're going to at least try to keep at least a couple of lefties, right? Yeah. No so doubt. That, you ain't got to keep. Okay, now you got to do is keep one because you already got one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, exactly. he, can, he can shorten your rotation. Yeah. And he can he can cut down on your pitches because he can do everything. Yeah, man. I, mean, man, I never heard of that. It's like pretty that. insane. So when I hear something that I, ain't never, that I haven't ever heard of before, yeah. man, it's fascinating to me. Yeah. <laughs> The kid is lightning, man. It's like yeah, I mean, you got to watch him play. He's I not mean, five and one in the SEC for a reason. Yeah. That's one of the most competitive baseball conferences in America. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does, man. He's still a young kid. He's a sophomore this year, uh, and you didn't know the baseball rule, right? So I was telling Unc about you know draft, you know, one and done in basketball. You can't do that in, in baseball at, at, a, at a four year school. You can't do that. Uh, if you go, if you choose to go to a D one school, you must stay there until you're a junior in college or 21 years old, unless the rules have changed, and I haven't heard any rule changes recently. So that's why a lot of these young studs elect to go to junior college baseball because that allows them the ability to now sign after each individual year, right? And if they don't sign pro, now they can go to a four-year school anyway and sign after one year now because now they're considered to be a junior, right? So it gives them more options to sign into pro ball. Everybody, School's not for everybody. So those guys that don't love school, they go to JUCO route. And it's very competitive baseball. You're going to find the best young prospects in playing in junior college baseball. Okay, now, am I getting this right? Now, let me explain this, how, how I understand it. Mm -hmm. Okay, say so you're coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. You can go straight to MLB. Yep, you can sign a pro contract. But if you go to a junior college, you can leave after one year and go to the MLB. Correct. But if you go to a four-year school, mm -hmm. You either got to be 21 or a junior to go to the MLB. Correct. So you got three different rules to go to one league. Correct. That's ridiculous. Knowledge is power. So I didn't <laughs> don't know. make the wrong decision. I, I, I <laughs> did you not want... know that because, yeah. like, you know, just like the NFL, you got to be at least a sophomore. You got to graduate at least a sophomore. Year. Yeah. NBA, you got to be one and done. Yep. For everybody. You ain't no this school, that school. And now baseball... You can go straight from high school, but if you go to junior college one year, you go to four-year school three years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's different. 
That is, I mean, that's that's like three rules for one entry to yeah. one sport. That's why it's good to, hey, knowledge, man. Knowledge is power, man. And I know that some of these young men Don't probably know. has came out of high school and did not know that rule. Absolutely. And, and might have ruined their career. By Absolutely. Go to a four, you know, you go, you know, you, you know, you go, uh, you get drafted straight out of high school. Yep. Your mother and daddy want you to get an education. Yeah. You go to a four-year school, and then your talent don't develop like you think it should have. Yeah, because then not, now you don't get drafted, but you could have went out of high because school. Because this is also the thing, young man, that are playing baseball. Yeah, that too. But uh, a college coach, his job is not to develop you. <laughs> his job is to win. So he's going to put the best product on the field. Now, if you sign pro, that's why they call it instructional league. You sign pro, their job is to develop you. Their job is to give you time to mess up and to teach you how to play the game the right way and give you a few years of grace. That is the job of a professional baseball uh, minor league organization, right? So those are two completely different mindsets. They expect you to know how to play when you get there in college. They're not going to tell you how. They're not going to show you how. You're going to go to practice, but they're not going to spend one-on-one time with you teaching you the game. You're expected to know that already, but in in, in minor league ball, they're that's what they're there for. League. It's development league. Yeah. Okay. Period. So if you truly love baseball, that's just, that's what you want to do. You get the opportunity. You get drafted, and you want to play ball. You don't like school. You better sign. I don't care what round you in. That's all I'm saying. Now go to go to the league. And yep. Take some classes online and get your degree online. Yeah. Because there's very few jobs that's going to uh, pay you the kind of money baseball is. I'm telling you. Uh, you know, it's I'm very telling few you. Jobs. Major League Baseball anyway. Yeah, Major League. Because yeah. in minor leagues, you can, you can work at pizza in and make the same money that in minor leagues are working. Well, Major. it all depends on <laughs> if they think you if they think you're going to be in the minor yeah. for a short time, yeah. you'll get a good contract. It, yeah, it's all about projection. Yeah. yeah. All about projection. It, yeah, yeah. Now, if they think you're going to stay right there, yeah, yeah they give you 30, 40 grand. Yeah, you know? yeah. And tell you. Me, but if they think you're going to be there for six weeks, go to a higher level for six weeks, oh, you going to end up. A year and a half or two years, you're in the majors, you'll get the big money. We call those bonus babies. Yeah, bonus. bonus babies, they're going to give you a million dollars, a couple million dollars up front, and they're going to let you mess up. But they expect you to be in that league in a couple yeah, years, though. Yeah, absolutely. They're investing in you, man. Yeah. They're fully yeah. invested in you. So we're going to keep this train rolling, man. Yeah, check that kid out at Mississippi State, man. Yeah, That's, man. Just go watch him. I, I, I just watched him for some highlights, man, and it was just amazing. <laughs> it amazed me to go <laughs> in. Yeah. You know, to even see somebody get on the mound and switch switch the glove from one hand to the other, and, you know, doing different batters, man. Yeah. Same guy throwing left hand, right hand. Yeah, it's, that's it's, amazing. It's insane. We haven't seen it before. And uh, I think that's our last subject right here is, uh, is boxing up, you know? Oh, yeah. We got old Devin Haney and, and, and Ryan Garcia coming up on 420. It might not be a lot of people that remember the fight, but it's gonna be a lot of people watching. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, you know, I'm uh, <laughs> Haney is uh, got some skills, but so does a Garcia. Yeah, it's a, I mean, I uh, think it's gonna be a good fight. Garcia to me, I'm gonna say it like this: He has more potential than Haney. Mm. To mm. me. Mm. And why you say that? I haven't heard nobody say this. Garcia got Garcia. You saying star power potential or boxing potential? Like, I think you have more boxing potential. Really? Yeah. Just, I mean, I mean, just say. I mean, cause uh, he got some quickness now, and I he mean, got he some got pop. Some, yeah, he got he got he got all the combinations. He got some good movement, and if uh, Derrick James can get him to do. Just one or two things different. Yeah, he he gonna shoot to the top. I believe so too. I think. I think he. I mean, I just think, you know, this is just me. Haney has probably topped out. Yeah, Garcia, because Garcia's a little bit younger than Haney. So yeah, he yeah. made you know. Well, are they, they they right around the same age? So they grew up together. Yeah, they grew up. They they fought like ten times in amateurs. So who like they've been fighting each other since they was ten years old. So who been, huh? so who been with? They've been back and forth. I think I think uh, Haney's you know last time when they was little one yeah. you know but they but this is their first time as professional yeah right? they've been they've been fighting each other since they was ten okay but I think I, I just think I screen, just got right? I don't know what happened to my screen right there I just I just think Garcia just got a better I don't know when I seen him box see like his boxing his boxing skills were better that don't mean he's a better fighter because they were fighting different people and all that's got something to do with it. yeah you know and. Uh, 
far as uh, Garcia, if he would have been, uh, I think he got a little too relaxed against Tank. I really think he did. Oh, really? Yeah, because I mean, at first. Well, he was, you know, he was. He was, was uh, real good against Tank. Somebody yeah, tapped into my screen back here. Yeah. And they're trying to do something that they ain't going to be able to do. But I, I didn't mean to cut you off, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Garcia was boxing pretty good to him. To take this card with that one, one, one blow, he timed him though. He timed him, and you can't be so deliberate. You got to be a little bit more unpredictable. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it was uh, he hit him with that body blow, yeah. you know. And then he was already flushed because they had that whole weight, uh, weight that issue. weight clause or whatnot, yeah, you know, he where he could only yeah, he was trying to lose. Yeah, so much he weight. he could only uh, regain so much weight. In yeah. the um, you know, in the process after the after the weigh yeah, in, after the way in, so he you know he was real drained, is what they said. Yeah, yeah. and he said he hit him with that body blow, and he had to, got hit in the liver and laid it down, like basically at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and uh, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm not gonna judge Ryan Garcia. That was his first loss. I'm not gonna yeah. judge him based off that performance. It wasn't a bad performance, yeah, I think but Ryan Garcia you know, got some very good skills. I do too, well. and I think they're only gonna get better. I, I saw an interview that uh, Oscar De La Hoya had about this whole. Uh, the fight and he, you know, just the training. He said that this is the sharpest he's ever seen Ryan look. And you, you got to take what Oscar say with a grain of salt. But, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I believe him though. You oh, know, yeah, I yeah. think Ryan ready, man. I know Derek got him ready. Yeah. Derek is man. Still, to me, Derek is one of the top trainers in the world. Oh yeah. I don't oh, care yeah. what's going on with that whole situation with Earl and everything. Derek is the guy for the job. Look what he did with Anthony Joshua. Yeah. He's Mister Fix It. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. When it comes to these boxers. But looking forward to that fight. And, of course, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, man. It's coming closer. It's coming yeah. closer. It's coming closer. Yeah. And the more... Lately, I've been finding out more and more rules and stipulations. Yeah, let, let's talk about these rules a little bit now. So, so, and we talked about it a little bit on After Dark. But I know everybody didn't watch After Dark with us the other day, right? So, evidently... Jake Paul can wear headgear. Right. Mike Tyson can't. Right. Uh, evidently, Logan Paul is going to be his tag team partner in this fight. Right. I don't understand that. And what, what else? Like, this is just... And uh, Mike Tyson will be tested for drugs. Jake Paul won't. But they still trying to decide if it's going to be an a exhibition fight or a pro fight? Like, how can it be a pro fight? What if you got a headgear on? And, and you don't get tested for drugs. Only, and only it's one not... dude's getting tested for drugs. Like, so, you know... Come on. Right now, I'm kind of conflicted on how I feel about all that. Yeah. Because it sounds like they're just setting us up, setting people up just for uh, for, uh, for money power. Yeah. You know, because if you can wait, I mean, and, and, and this is the thing. The way Mike Tyson hit, if Mike Tyson hit like he can, he can hit, Headgear or none of that is not going to help Jake <laughs> no. Paul. I'm just saying. Now, if he go out there and it's an exhibition and he just get around and they... And if he do like he did against Roy Jones Jr., yeah. I'm done with boxing. Yeah. I'm done with... Yeah, that, that was frustrating. With, I'm done with all exhibitions. I never want to say exhibition. If he don't go out there and... and, and to and knock he, him out. And if he hit Jake Paul in the ribs... Oh, yeah, it's a wrap, son. The stomach... The chin, yeah, the head, <laughs> the jaw. If he hit, the, if he hit Jake Paul hard enough on the arm, man, yeah, it's going. I mean, if he hit him like he hit all other heavyweight fighters that he fought, this fight is going to be over. Now, I do wonder what size gloves are they using. And I'm sure they got a little extra cushion in them. They got to be like fourteen. Oh, if they sixteen or something, I'm guessing. That's just what I'm guessing. They man, use a bigger gloves than normal. Maybe twelve. If they go above twelve, man, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping they don't go above twelve. Yeah, I'm hoping. I like to see them in some ten and some eights. Yeah, personally. I would too, because that's where you used to fight. Real eight ounce, yeah. Eight ounce gloves. Yeah, I, mean, I think they went to ten. Yeah, to kind of take off some of the sticking off some of the punches. Yeah, but still, eight or ten, ten at the most. Man. Ten at the most is if what I want to see. Fourteen or sixteen, it's not even a real fight. Yeah, and, 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 and this is the thing, Logan Paul. <laughs> can be his tag team partner. But this is the thing. Logan Paul <laughs> was begging uh, Floyd Mayweather to stop. Hey, Logan fell asleep on his shoulder one time and Floyd had to hold him up and be like, hey, we still fighting, dog. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dog? Take 
Mike like Floyd, like 140 all, pound all, punch. All I can say is this. He ain't gonna take nothing from Tyson, bro. If, if, if Jay <laughs> is getting beat up and he runs to the corner yeah. to tag in Logan, I think Logan's gonna back up like this with his hands. Logan's gonna be. Say, look, man. Hey. He giving you the business. I don't want no. Hey, Logan gonna be looking in the stand. Be like, <laughs> yeah. You talking to y'all? He ain't coming to tag me, dog. He I mean, because I better be tagging one of y'all you back know, in. I just don't see how you know <laughs> Logan is gonna come in there. You know, if and you do see, anything. If you see your brother getting rocked, mm-hmm. uh, and, and this is the whole thing. This is Mike Tyson. We talk about if Mike Tyson hit him, man, he's not even gonna have time to tag out because he's gonna he's gonna be counted out. Yeah. You know, so all yeah. that. You know, <laughs> hey, you can't, and, can't and, tag and, nothing and but the pavement as, when you're knocked and, out, though. As far as uh, steroids go, him being able to take still, man, it ain't that much steroid in the world, man. Yeah. People don't, you know, people don't want to, you know, they think that you just take steroids and it make you better. No. No, it don't. No. It, it don't. Like that. You, <laughs> you have to work Ability. Like, you Skill. You have to work like Hades to get better. Yeah. If you're on steroids and and if you are, and I'm going to say Mike Tyson is a 10, and Jake Paul is already a minus one, <laughs> all Jake Paul, all steroids can do for Jake Paul is, is getting him to zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, steroids are not going to take nah. you from a minus one to nah. a nine. Nah. They're going to take you from a minus one to a zero. That's all it can do. Hey, you know, Jake, Jake Paul better not wear no white shorts that night. Cause yeah, I think yeah. I, he gonna mess around, and mess yeah. himself. You know? so, <laughs> when he when he see Tyson come in with that head on him, when he come in there bobbing, bobbing on them boys, and, you know what I'm saying? Like he don't want none of that. Yeah, man, he don't. He don't want man, none of them hooks, like you said. He don't want none of that. It's, none of that. Man, it's a fight though. He ain't in a knockout. It's just just a big old bag of baloney. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna have sandwich. And I got this feeling it's gonna be a big bag of baloney that yeah, night. Yeah, but I'll you know what? Like, I'm gonna be watching though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> and for one reason, I hope it's not a bag of baloney. Yeah, it's, man. You know, I hope it's got something real in it. I hope. I hope Tyson. I hope he snaps like he snapped on that dude that yeah. one day that, you know, during that interview that mentioned that brought up that rape. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, now if Tyson <laughs> snap, if he go, this is what I want Tyson to do. I, I want Tyson to, go, to snap, dog. I want Tyson to go into that ear biting mode. Because <laughs> yeah. you know Tyson is uh, yeah. into the, you know he's got a strand of uh, marijuana out there. Yeah, and he got and he got edibles and everything. Yeah, and one of his edibles is called. The Holyfield ear. Yeah, yeah, and, and Holyfield. <laughs> yeah, Holyfield signed off. Hey, last time I saw him in Holyfield, that was they were bumping the elbows and tugging it up. I was like, dang, they real friendly. Yeah. You come to find yeah. out, they money, making that, money, money <laughs> they making that bread on them edibles, man. Yeah. They got the you know, edible Holyfield ear. Holyfield, one of them edibles and a, yeah. and a small bag of money. Holyfield. Oh yeah, no, Holyfield got a percentage of everything that's being bought. So oh, yeah, yeah, he he getting that bag. You know, they yeah. made millions off them ears. So, so we just gonna hope that it's a, we gonna we gonna hope that it's a, even if even if it's an exhibition, yeah. Mike Tyson, we just hope Mike Tyson throws some real blow. Yeah, man, because uh, it, we we want to see a good fight. Because if uh, we just want to see, I don't, I don't even care to see a good fight. I just want to see a real fight. Yeah. That's it. Just make it a real, a real fight, fight, bro. Like a it's real fight. Be a That's all I care about yeah. is a real fight, man. Real fight. That's it, man. That's it. But yeah, we we've had a great time again this week. Man, at the show, man. I hope y'all uh, appreciate uh, us uh, bringing this thing out every week, every Wednesday. And then, you know, come and join us on the weekend, man. Saturday nights, man. We get down 8.30-ish. You know, ain't, ain't nothing Doing spot around yard. here. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Come join us, man. Yeah, well, however you want to call it, noonish at night. Yeah. Noonish after dark. Yeah. Well, you know, things happen, you know, from Wednesday to Wednesday. You know, sometimes some things jump off. You got to kind of talk about on uh, Saturday night. Yeah, and thank y'all so much for continuing to follow us and subscribing, man. Last time we was on the show, we were thanking y'all because we was at 1,700. This time I'm thanking y'all because we already up to 1,800 subscribers, man. It took us like two years to get 100 before, and we did it in two weeks, man. So oh, yeah. very excited, man, about the growth of the show. We're going to keep coming, keep putting out content, man. And uh, y'all keep joining us, man. Keep yeah, joining the fun. Keep keeping it real. Yes, sir. We're going to keep it real, baby. See you next